hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this is Harry from black forex trader so i'm back with another weekly market analysis video so today i'll be analyzing few pairs with you so that you can be able to know what you're looking for next week so first of all i want to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel and everyone who's watching my videos like thank you guys i appreciate that uh that's one thing that keeps me uh more motivated in order to uh, upload more videos so thank you guys so if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel or you want to know uh the glimpse of how i trade or the method that i use you can watch this video here the supply and demand uh, videos with the yellow thumbnails you can watch them then you can learn a little bit of how i trade right so that's what i wanted to show you here then let's get to the market so today uh someone suggested uh, i shall analyze us dollar currency index so today i will be including it in my analysis so uh, i'm gonna start with it then i'm gonna go to currency base okay let's start with it this is h4 time frame okay as you can see it has been going up for quite some time here then suddenly it made this drop here then uh, for now uh if i don't want to go to smaller time frame I will assume this uh, as my supply level, this last pin here, as my supply level. Now let me show you. This last pin here will be my supply level here. Then let's go to 3 hour time frame. So as you can see, I have an RR, then I have a drop. This makes it what? A rally, base, and a drop. Then let's go to smart time frame and see if you can't find anything in the middle. So you can see, uh, once I go to 1 hour time frame, now we have another pattern which is a continuation pattern i have a drop then a base then a drop again so now i'm gonna cover this can you stick here then let's go let's end up at what it means time frame so yeah as you can see we have a drop then base and a drop so now you can see that the mile is trying to push up so this is what i'll be looking for on uh, dollar index so this will be where dollar index will likely to reverse in order to continue going down so this will be my supply level here this can stick here okay so this will be the analysis that i have on dollar index so this is the two minutes time frame here you can see we have a pattern drop a, a drop base drop now we're going to make a small reversal to this level then we're going to drop so let's move forward to currency now i'm going to start with euro usd okay this euro usd let's go to h4 daily time frame okay let's start with daily you can see on daily euro usd has been going down for quite some time now they just make a little push up then they continue going down and still push up and then they go down so uh, for now this here will be the last high that they made uh, before they drop down here so i'll mark this high here to you know to spot my supply level so as you can see when i go to smaller time frame i have this movement here this will make a drop then base then a drop so i'm gonna use this movement here then let's go to for a three hour time frame same thing I'm gonna use it like this then if you look here on the downside here you can see that we have double bottom here we have a w sorry we have a w here then you can see that we have something like this the break of structure here This is this was Friday. This is where they broke the structure here. Now this is where they are. They are at this high here. As you can see, they're playing around this high here. So let's go to small time frame again. Let's, let's focus on this one here now. So you can see we have the break of structure here. Then we have something like. They are trying to form an M formation here to respect this uh, previous high here. So my anticipation on this one here uh, is that they come to this level. Uh, let me make it like this. They push down when the market opens. 
to this level here. Something like this. Then they must push down a little bit to this level, to this candy stick here. Then they can continue going up. So we will only see if they can, once they come to for the third time, they can break this level or not. But let's focus uh, more on this one here, on this supply level here. This is our pin bar. This much is our supply level. Let me cover this. Then you can see this is what I have on your USD. Once they reach this level here, this is where you're gonna do what this way you're gonna put your sale limit or you can wait for them to reject and you're gonna sell them. But this is my supply level and this is my demand level here. So Monday they're gonna when they open I'm assuming that they can go down a little bit to this level, then they go up, then once they, they go up, this is where I'm gonna be looking to, to sell them. So this is my setup on Euro USD. Now let's move to GPJPY. Let's see if what you can find here. Oh, this one I already analyzed it. I'm just gonna explain it. So as you can see here, I'll have a break of structure here. Then Euro uh, GPJPY has been going down. Then they start to meet the shady movement here. So for this, uh, me, I don't trade uh, this kind of movement here. I will just watch them until they come to this level here. This is where I'll be looking to do what to sell them here. This will be my supply level here. So I'll be looking for them to come to this level. And I'm gonna say for now, I'm just gonna keep watching them, monitoring them until they reach my supply level. So let's uh, move to GJE. Let's move to Euro GPY. Uh, this one is similar to to Euro USD. Yeah, this one is similar to Euro USD. This is my supply level here. This is my supply level here. Then you can see that the market is trying to push up, but they're failing to go up. This was the first test to go up. Then they rejected. They went down to form a, a W here at the bottom here. This is the sorry, this is the W here. Then you can see this is the supply level that I chose here. Then let's go to smaller time frame. You can see that we have another movements here inside. So we have this rejection, this kind of sticks here. But for me, I look for the high probability trades. So I'm gonna use the last. Uh, movement before the reversal here as you can see the head consolidation then they had a breakout out of this uh, movement here so i'm not gonna use this two here i'm gonna focus on this one here so for now uh let's go to smart time frame then on a lower time frame you can see that we have a rally base then a rally so this will be my demand level where i'll be looking for a buy so for when the market opens on monday uh, this will be my level where i'll be looking to do what to buy this level here for them not to continue going up so as i said this one is similar to euro usd uh, this is the setup also on this one here this will be the same thing i'll be looking for them to come to this demand here and then i'll do what i'll buy them to go to this supply level here at the top so let's see if we still have more pace okay let's try cut gpy okay Okay, let's go to a four hour time frame okay you can see on four hour time frame yeah, gpy has been in a drop like a really huge drop here then you can see that they had this they had this drop here then they had this consolidation point and then another drop so this mix with what the drop base drop so for now i'm gonna look for my supply level on this one here then you can see that i'm gonna use the last uh small movement before the breakout out of this consolidation point so i'm going to use this part here then let's go to two hour time frame still valid here small consolidation then a drop let's end up on one hour same thing we have consolidation here then i'm going to cover this consolidation point then this consolidation point and it's my base here then this is my supply level here this will be what i'll be looking for on card jpy so this will be my trade here so I'll wait for them to, uh, i don't know how long they're gonna take to come to this level but 
once they reach the level this is where i'm gonna sell them here so let's see if i can analyze uh, let's try gpgpy to be the last pair let's go to daily okay let's get jpy you can see after this movement here this rejection here they've been going down but they had a small uh, consolidation point uh, along the way but i'm going to be focusing on this one here as you can see here the water drop then this uh, can still represent consolidation which is the base then another drop so let's just do it like this let's mark it so that you can see where we are you can see on four hour time frame i'm gonna cover this pin here it's been trying to be my base and let's go to two hour time frame same thing still fine now let's end up on one hour Okay, one hour still is this uh, can you stick here then i'm gonna cover it like this uh, let's go to 30 minutes and see if i can find anything okay still the same here still the last movement here let's just end up on one hour then this will be my base here this will be my base on gu this will be my setup on GU for the next coming days. So this will be what I will be waiting for on GPUSD. So yeah, guys, this is all for today. I didn't want to make a long video. So this is all I wanted to share with you. So uh, let's kill the market next year. Let's test the market. So I'll see you on the next video. So if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you.